Hi, Core Collaborative family. This is part two of Self-Care Fundamentals, The Breath. So in the first video, I talked about how to take a uh, what I call a three-part breath. And if you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend that you do that first. It's fairly short and it just breaks down what I mean by the three-part breath. I will review it in this upcoming video, but uh, I think it's the best place to start. The video today is all about how you can connect with yourself as a teacher so that you can support a classroom that is learner-centered. And in order to connect with yourself as a teacher, I've found one of the best ways to do that is through a simple practice of breathing. And you can breathe with particular intentions and induce particular states of mind and body through doing so. So today, we're gonna work on the um, relaxation breath. And I hope you enjoy this video and keep taking care of yourselves. Hi, Core Collaborative family. I'm Carrie Simons and I'm back with part two. And this particular breath that we're gonna to learn today is for relaxation. So anytime you wanna relax, the first thing you wanna do is practice the three-part breath that we worked on in part one of this series. If you haven't watched that video yet, go back to the Lunch and Learn series that I have my first video on and work on um, learning how to take the three-part breath. Quick review of the three-part breath is that you exhale all of the air out of your lungs. You draw the belly button toward the spine. And then as you inhale, you inhale from the belly all the way up to the top of the lungs. And as you exhale, you exhale out all of the air, drawing the belly button toward the spine. And it's really nice to learn that fundamental three-part breath before you start working on these other breaths. Today's breath is, like I said, for relaxation. So anytime you're feeling the need to either try to fall asleep, which can be difficult these days, or if you find that you're somewhat revved up and you wanna calm down, the key to that is extending the exhale. So when I think of relax, I think of X as in exhale. That's what helps me remember that to relax, I need to extend the exhale. As you exhale, then you can release all the breath, draw the belly button toward the spine, and then you can start to count your breaths. So if you inhale to a breath of three, inhale one, two, three, pause at the top and exhale for four. One, two, three, four. Pause at the bottom of the exhalation. Inhale for three, one, two, three, Pause at the top, exhale for five. One, two, three, four, five. Draw the belly button toward the spine. Inhaling for three. One, two, three. Exhale out five. One, two, three, four, five. Draw the belly button toward the spine. So you can inhale for three, exhale for five, inhale for four, exhale to six. As long as the exhalation is longer than the inhalation, this will promote relaxation and induce a sense of calm in the state of mind. Another thing that's good for um, relaxation, not just in the breath, but in terms of the yoga practice, like I said in the first video, I started to practice yoga when I was at the end of my third year of teaching and I was feeling quite stressed and burnt out. And one of the things that I learned how to do, one of the things that induces calm is just the simple awareness of the breath. And so like we practiced in the first video, just even recognizing that you need to take a deep breath and then 
taking a deep breath and exhaling out with intention can help to start re inducing um, relaxation and the sense of calm in the mind. So after I started practicing yoga and started learning more about the breath, I also started looking at the Ayurvedic diet, which is associated with yoga. And so in addition to um, working on practicing relaxing breaths, you can also eat foods that are really good for grounding. So especially at this time of year, during the spring, um, when you may have more winds picking up and the weather can be variable, it's easy to also feel a little bit out of sorts. And so grounding foods include um, good oils, olive oil, avocado, butter, um, walnuts, omega-3s and omega-6s, almonds, nut butters, um, fish, if you eat fish, uh, those kinds of foods can actually help to ground the body and also be sure to get plenty of sleep. And if you struggle with sleep, just remember as you're trying to fall asleep to practice this relaxing breath, inhaling for three, exhaling for five or inhaling for four and exhaling for six. So relax, exhale. Thanks and see you next time.